getting Otzi's marks permanently onto my body, I think would have been like going and getting any tattoo. Um, you know, getting them in my, in my own blood turns it into this whole, whole other thing. Otzi is the oldest mummy. He was found in the Alps in the 1990s. Uh, hikers happened across his corpse. They thought that he was, you know, modern day human who had, had fallen and died recently. Scientists date him back to the year 3300 BCE. He is a physical, actual body that we can point to, not some sort of like Alexander the Great who is dust now underground. So on Otzi, um, there are a bunch of tattoos. They are a series of hashes and crosses. So originally, scientists thought that there were 59, um, and now they believe that there are 61. You know, growing up, I was told that this is this is one of the earliest humans. This is, you know, this is like some sort of forefather. And I think that that's why I was so drawn to, you know, starting to research him, then ultimately carrying out this project, because I felt like it was a way to make that history my own. When I started researching Utsi and his tattoos specifically, I was drawing them onto myself, but then I was also turning them into images and projecting them onto myself. I got this idea that like, what if I could put my blood back onto my body? And in that way, you know, my body would reabsorb the blood back into itself and sort of create this cyclical process where I was marking myself with his images, but through something that was mine and only mine and like inherently mine, and then something that would become part of me and I would sort of like swallow his marks. I tried calling around to a couple of tattoo shops in Brooklyn and I was met with a lot of, I don't want to do this. You know, I had somebody tell me that there was no, there was no color in blood, which seemed crazy, like, you know, because there is, there's a pigment in blood that makes it red. Another friend was like, you should reach out to Three Kings because they do weird stuff and they're, you know, into doing weird stuff. <laughs> That's how I found Matt. This was one of the strangest requests I've, I've had tattooing, uh, for sure. I was not familiar with Otzi before uh, taking on the project. I am into Indiana Jones uh, and the original stuff, so any kind of archaeology and sort of uh, anthropology is always interesting to me. You know, I worked with a researcher in South Tyrol where the mummy's body is kept. And so I saw this opportunity uh, working with Matt to really get them precise and make sure that we had the exact, you know, down to the millimeter and you know, gauge of exactly where they were and really, really make sure that that translation from his, his body, his corpse to, to my body was, was perfect. Once we poured her blood into the ink cap, um, I got a little queasy for a moment, you know? And, and I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I've seen enough blood that, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, but I think the idea that I was working with blood kind of, you know, waked me out for a second. The process of being tattooed um, in, in my own blood was no different than getting a, a normal tattoo. I tattooed a bit slower the marks that he had, which a lot of them, you know, had bled out. They were aged and probably a lot thicker than they were when he was alive. Then I probably irritated the skin just a little bit more, just to kind of ensure that there would be a bit of scarring, which is what Nicole was looking for. I thought that was, that was pretty bold of her to just have markings and just be in pain and you know, 20 different locations, um, you know, it was pretty tough, so. In an art realm, when I talk to people about them, there's actually a lot of pushback. There's a lot of like, you don't know what that mark is, you know, the mark is sacred, you know, the image, his images are his. There's also like, I think a, a lot of politics that get thrown in about the female body that mostly women take issue with. And I find that conversation incredibly interesting, but, when I'm like in the line at the grocery store wearing shorts and some old lady sees it, there's this like kind of this look of like confusion, but weirdly understanding. Um, yeah, I think there's a variation of, of responses. 
And I became obsessed with the idea of sort of taking his marks and making them mine. And there was something like deeply feminist and um, like very empowering about doing that. There is an actual body of a man that once lived um, and who, who was informing our understanding of ourselves today.